graphic testimony today during the sanity hearing of a Spokane man suspected of torturing a college co-ed to death back in 2008. KXY force Jeff Humphrey joins us live at the courthouse with new details of the killing. Jeff. And Dave Colt Strandberg's defense attorney wants the court to find his client not guilty by reason of insanity. For the past three days, various doctors have testified that Strandberg suffers from schizophrenia and that he was hearing voices the day he shot a young woman in the head with a crossbow while she was visiting his apartment. Today, the defense bolstered that claim when a psychologist pointed out that after the murder, those same voices told Strandberg to turn himself in, which he actually did when he walked down to Sacred Heart Medical Center. Today, the very first state psychiatrist to interview Strandberg after he was arrested offered Strandberg's version of what happened in the apartment at the time of the killing. I was sitting on the bed. Jennifer was sitting on the couch. I had a crossbow. I heard a voice saying, you're not a man if you don't do it. You're a if you don't do it. I shot her in the head with a crossbow. I thought the arrow would go all the way through and kill her instantly. But she didn't, so I wound up choking her. Once I realized what I had done, I, couldn't, I could have called a neighbor to clean up the place, but I didn't. I went to the hospital and turned myself in. Now, that man, Dr. Grant, does not believe that Strandberg is insane, and it's the state's position that Strandberg should stand trial for first-degree murder. It would appear that the testimony in this phase of the sanity hearing is now over, and we're expecting a decision from Judge Terry Eitzen about Strandberg's sanity in the next couple of days. Reporting live at the Spokane County Courthouse, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.